Hey guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We're here at the Paley Center in Beverly Hills celebrating 10 years and 20 seasons of Dancing with the Stars. Good to meet you. Good to see you. How Big are you? Big fan. Nice, nice, very well. I'm starstruck right now. <laughs> so, um, 10 years, 20 seasons of Dancing with the Stars. Talk to us about your experience on Dancing with the Stars. It was amazing. Uh, clearly, uh, you know, wanting to be on this show from the very beginning, from the first time I watched the show, I wanted to do it. So to all the way to getting on the show finally and, and then going through the season and winning. Uh, the journey and the ride has been amazing. Uh, and even since then, to be you know able to still be part of this amazing group, um, it's special. It's a special show. And I think it's a it's a show that, that I'm a fan of more than anything. I've been a fan before, for, since the beginning. Show. Huge, huge, huge fan of the show. So for me, this is like a dream come true. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, and like, I mean, your name is synonymous with dancing. Your character's name is synonymous with dancing. I mean, I feel like, and I watched the show when you were on it, um, it kind of gave give uh, viewers a chance to see you and not just a character like through, through this. Absolutely, and it was wonderful. You know, it's, it's great. I always say when you when you when you're going through an airport, right? You get a true indication of what things are kind of in the real world, right? And you know, cause that's the only place that you really get to just be around regular people all the time like, and people will come up to you and just say, "Hey, but since the show started, since I was on this show, it's not Carlton anymore. It's Alfonso. Nice. That's what Dancing with the Stars gave me. Yeah. Gave me my name back. Yeah. <laughs> gave me my name back. I don't have to be that nerd with a tie on. <laughs> yeah, so it's been amazing. That's great. And talk about like your partnership. I mean, what do you think made um, your partnership with, with your dancers so good? And, like, you know, what led you to win the competition? I, I just I just think you know we had such a strong bond. Uh, uh, you know, being that our, our relationship was defined. I think what happens on the show is you have people that, are they in love? Are they a couple? Are they not a couple? Are they friendly? Are they not friendly? Our relationship became solid from before the show even started. I mean, in terms of on, on air. I was like her big brother. And I was giving her relationship advice. I was giving her life advice. You know, we and she was giving me all of this, you know, entertainment in terms of dance and all that advice. And we really established that strong friendship right from the beginning. And it, I think right from there, the audience could connect to that. And it connected that when we were on that stage, we were as loving as any couple that would be in love. Absolutely, the love was there. It was just an older brother, younger sister love, and it was and it was so strong. I felt like that's I felt like that's the connection that we had that people were able to respect and, and enjoy. Don't touch me. And um, what do you think? Dancing wise, I mean, did you? I mean, are you still dancing? I mean, you learned probably a million new types of dances when you were on the show. Absolutely, yes. Well, the the I have been dancing. I, mean, I obviously came back and did the tenth anniversary special, um, but I'm actually coming back for the finale. Um, I'm coming back and we're doing something that we that that has I think has only been done one time before, but. Um, I'm dancing with Sadie Robertson, who was second place for me on my season. So first and second place, saying, saying hello to the to whoever's going to take the mirror ball this season. Um, but doing a little a little dance together, which is going to be fun. Whitney and Mark are choreographing it right now as we speak, and um, it's going to be it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great to and we're, we're we're really saying thank you to both of them for what they gave us. They gave us an ability to dance and to learn how to dance and to be able to pick up dance and feel it and enjoy it. And we're going to do them justice by doing it great on that dance floor. Do you get to keep your Mirabel trophy? Oh yeah, yeah. Where do you keep yours? Well, I had it. I had it in my foyer, but it broke when because you know we go to GMA and then when they sent it back to me, it broke. So I gave it back to them to have it fixed, and I haven't got it back yet. So I um, need that. I'm, I'm getting it back. <laughs> I'm getting it back on Tuesday. They're giving me my Mirabel back. Cool. We look forward to seeing you on the yes. finale. That's It'll awesome. It'll be fun. Thank you so Thank much. You. Nice All right. you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite dance of all time through 20 seasons of Dancing with the Stars. Mine was Carlton. I mean Alfonso.